Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to update uh, the Uniden R1 or R3 radar detectors whenever there's a new firmware update or a new red light camera database. Now, I've done a video about this in the past, but since then, Uniden has actually changed their update software. Uh, they've simplified the process, and so uh, we actually need to do an updated update video about how to update your radar detector. Uh, so with that said, let's jump right into it. Now, there's a couple things that you're gonna need in order to do this. Uh, the first thing, of course, is you're gonna need a radar detector, an R1 or an R3. Uh, you're also going to need a computer to run the update software. The update software only runs on Windows, so you're going to need a Windows computer. Uh, I'm actually using a Mac here, but I have Windows running on my Mac. Uh, you can do it with uh, Parallels or Boot Camp if you need to install Windows on your Mac, and there's tutorials on how to do that, but it may just be easier to get a computer, maybe borrow one that's running Windows. And then the last thing, you're going to need a, uh, a mini USB update cable like this. I've got a link in the video description to where you can pick one of these up if you need them. A quick note, make sure it's a cable that actually does data communication, not just a charging cable that only supplies power. Um, if it's power only, the detector is not going to be able to talk to the computer, so you want to make sure that you have one uh, that also communicates data. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and hop on over to the computer and uh, go through the update process. All right, now you're going to want to start by going to this website right here. Uh, again, I've got the link in the video description. It'll take you right to this site. Uh, now when you scroll down, you're going to want to go down to this uh, gray button over here on the left that says firmware. When you click on that, it's going to show you all the different uh, firmware information for the R1 and the R3. Uh, you can see the current firmware version is 1.37, and here is when it came out. Uh, now there's a couple different links that you're going to find here. The first one is going to be for the drivers. Uh, if this is the very first time that you've ever updated the detector, definitely download and install the drivers. This is going to allow your detector to actually communicate with the computer. Um, and then the other links you're going to have right here are the firmware files for uh, the R1 or the R3. We're going to go ahead and download both of them here real quick, but of course you only need the one for whichever detector that you own. All right, now opening up the drivers, uh, we're going to go ahead and choose the installer right here. Okay, we've extracted the drivers, and now let's go ahead and run it. Now we'll just go through the process here. Now this part is really key. There's so many people, I can't tell you how many, who've gone to uh, run the update software, and when they launch it, they're like, hey, my update software can't see my detector. I plug my detector in and my computer can't see it. What's going on? If you skip this step, you're gonna run into that issue. So definitely make sure that you install the drivers first if it's the first time you're updating your detector. Now we've also downloaded the uh, zip files with the firmware updates for both the R1 and the R3. So go ahead and unzip that. Then once you're done, you're gonna have the folders with the firmware updates. Uh, if you take a look in both of them, you'll notice we've got the, uh, the update software as well as the uh, firmware file itself. If we go look in the R3, you'll notice the same thing. We have the update software and the firmware file itself. Uh, there used to be more to it. There were uh, GPS database info, there was a uh, voice pack update software. Now it's really simplified. So for both detectors, all you're gonna have is update software and the firmware update. Uh, if you have an R3, it has the GPS chip, and so the latest red light camera database is gonna be included in this file as well. Uh, the latest voice pack is included here. So now there's just one update software and one file which you're gonna need to load in. So with that said, let's go ahead and install the update software. Perfect. Now if we go down to the desktop, you'll notice we've got a new icon here for uh, the Uniden R series software download tool. We're currently at version 1.22, uh, and you're gonna have, of course, whatever the latest version is. Next, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take your detector and plug it into your computer. One thing to point out is when you plug your detector into the computer, it's not going to display anything on the face of the detector. That's totally normal, so don't worry about that. Now you'll notice that when I did that, uh, it automatically loaded the current firmware that's on my detector. The reason it did that is because I have the auto connect box checked right here. Uh, if I didn't, it wouldn't do that, uh, but because I do, it's going to go ahead and automatically connect to the detector when it sees it. If it doesn't, for some reason, you can go ahead and click this read version button, and it'll go ahead and uh, connect to your detector manually and tell you what the latest firmware version is. You can see right now I've got uh, 1.31 loaded onto the detector. Now I'm going to want to go ahead and update it. So I'm going to go over here and click on open. You can go over to your uh, downloads folder where you've downloaded that update file. You can see R3 version 1.37. So we're going to go ahead and open this. And you'll notice here we are. All right, so here's the update file. We've got 1.31 installed. We're going to go ahead and update to 1.37. Now that we've got that set, we're going to go ahead and click start download. And we're going to give it a couple minutes here to go ahead and update our detector for us. Now, if anything ever goes wrong during the firmware update um, and your detector bricks, for example, you can always check the box here for recovery mode, uh, and it'll go ahead and uh, force install the new firmware in case anything's gone wrong. Uh, it'll go ahead and just start over from scratch. 
And so there you go, as you can see, download completed. So now we have the latest firmware, the latest voice pack, uh, and the latest red light camera database all installed in the detector. And now that that's done, we can go ahead and close the update software. Perfect. And then once that's done, just a couple last things. So let's go ahead and uh, power on our detector. Uh, once it fires up, we can hit the menu button right here on top and then volume down to scroll over backwards through the menu. Uh, we can see the newest version of the GPS database it's loaded on is uh, March 6, 2018. And then if we go back again, we'll see we've got firmware version 1.37 slash 1.96 currently loaded. So awesome. Firmware update was successful. Uh, now, we're also going to want to go in and uh, do a factory reset of all of our different settings here. So we're going to go ahead and press factory the menu button. Factory reset completed. Cool. And it's going to reset all of the settings here to factory defaults. Uh, then once you do that, you can go back in and uh, menu. go in and start, you know, customizing the detector the way that you want. I have a whole tutorial on my website that'll walk you through all the different settings and options. Once you do the factory reset, again, that is something that Uniden recommends just to make sure that uh, everything Exit. loads in properly. Uh, so awesome. Once you do that, you're up and running with the, uh, the latest firmware. Uh, you've got everything configured the way that you want, and you have the latest red light camera and speed camera database if you've got the R3 as well. Uh, so awesome. Hopefully that uh, makes things pretty simple and easy for you guys. If you have any questions, if you come across any issues, uh, let me know just down in the comment area below. Other than that, hope this has been helpful for you guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.